Welcome to You Will Bear Witness, where we advocate for PTSD sufferers and child abuse survivors. The information we give is for general use only. If symptoms persist, please seek the help of a professional. Risk factors. Symptoms of panic disorder often start in the late teens or early adulthood and affect more women than men. Factors that may increase the risk of developing panic attacks or panic disorder include family history of panic attacks, major life stress such as the death or serious illness of a loved one, a traumatic event such as sexual assault or a serious accident, major changes in your life such as a divorce or the addition of a baby, smoking or excessive caffeine intake, history of childhood physical or sexual abuse, complications. Left untreated, panic attacks and panic disorder can affect almost every area of your life. You may be so afraid of having more panic attacks that you live in a constant state of fear, ruining your quality of life. Complications that panic attacks may cause or be linked to include developing uh, specific phobias such as fear of driving or leaving your home frequent medical care for health concerns and other medical conditions, avoidance of social situations, problems at work or school, depression, anxiety disorder and other psychiatric disorders, increased risk of suicide or suicidal thoughts, alcohol or other substance misuse, financial problems. For some people, panic disorder may include agoraphobia, avoiding places or situations that cause you anxiety because you fear not being able to escape or get help if you have a panic attack. Or you may become reliant on others to be with you in order to leave your home. Preparing for your appointment. If you've had signs or symptoms of a panic attack, make an appointment with your primary care provider. After an initial evaluation, your doctor may refer you to a psychiatrist or psychologist for treatment. What you can do before your appointment. Make a list of your symptoms, including when they first occurred and how often that you've had them. Key personal information, including traumatic events in your past and any stressful major events that occurred before your first panic attack. Medical information, including other physical or mental health conditions that you've had. Medications, vitamins and other supplements and the dosages. Questions to ask your doctor. Ask a trusted family member or friend to go with you to your appointment if possible to lend support and help you remember information. At your first appointment, ask your doctor, what do you believe is causing my symptoms? Is it possible that an underlying medical problem is causing them? Do I need any diagnostic tests? Should I see a mental health specialist? Is there anything I can do now to help manage my symptoms? Trigger an attack. How do your symptoms affect your life, such as school, work and personal relationships? Did you experience a major stress or a traumatic event shortly before your first panic attack. Have you ever experienced major trauma such as physical or sexual abuse or military battle? How would you describe your childhood, including your relationship with your parents? Have you or any of your close relatives been diagnosed with a mental health problem, including panic attacks or panic disorder? Have you been diagnosed with any medical conditions? Do you use caffeine, alcohol or recreational drugs? How often? Do you exercise or do other types of regular physical activity? Tests and diagnosis. Your doctor or other healthcare provider must determine if you have panic attacks, panic disorder or another condition such as heart or thyroid problems that resemble panic symptoms. To help pinpoint a diagnosis, you may have a complete physical examination, blood tests to check your thyroid and other possible conditions and tests on your heart, 
such as an electrocardiogram, ECG or EKG, a psychological evaluation to talk about your symptoms, stressful situations, fears or concerns, relationship problems and other issues affecting your life. You may fill out a psychological self-assessment or questionnaire. You may also be asked about alcohol and other substance use. Criteria for diagnosis of panic disorder. Not everyone who has panic attacks has a panic disorder. For a diagnosis of panic disorder, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, DSM-5, published by the American Psychiatric Association, lists these points. You have frequent unexpected panic attacks. At least one of your attacks has been followed by one month or more of ongoing worry about having another attack. Continued fear of the consequences of an attack, such as losing control, having a heart attack or going crazy, or significantly changing your behaviour, such as avoiding situations that you think may trigger a panic attack. Your panic attacks aren't caused by drugs or other substance use, a medical condition, or another mental health condition, such as social phobia or obsessive-compulsive disorder. <laughs>